Hey guys, welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video. Today we're jumping into our brand new Lamborghini Huracan Performante and we were doing a full customization on this thing and a little bit of a test drive to see how it performs. We just ended up getting this yesterday from the festival playlist. So if you guys don't have this or you don't know how to get it, then I'll link a video down below that I created yesterday on how you can. It's just, you have to um, complete 50% of the events in the festival playlist for this week. You still have like six or five or six days to get it. So make sure to jump on and get it because this car is going to be highly desired and super rare on the auction house. And that's pretty much the only way you're going to get it until they release it again. So today we're jumping into the full appearance packages that you can do for this thing. We're going to visually change the color and of like the body and the wheels and everything like that. And then we're also going to do the full upgrades on this thing. So let's go ahead. We'll jump in, see what's available. Go over to garage. I will start with the upgrades and then we'll go into the visual uh, appearances for the vehicle we're not going to actually tune it because i don't know how to tune it yet but i'll show you at least the different tunes that are available so we'll go ahead custom upgrade we'll start with the visual aspects to it like the front bumper and the spoiler front bumper literally all you can do is add the little side fenders there or splitters and the tow hitch and then of course for the wing i really like the performante wing that's already on it the forged carbon one but of course you can put the standard forza gt wing on it which doesn't look too bad but the stock one definitely looks way way better so we'll leave it stock and we will leave the front bumper stock as well going over to the conversion aspects we can change the engine if you want you can swap in a 6.5 liter v12 or a racing v12 we'll leave it stock for now it is a all-wheel drive car already you can change it to a rear wheel drive if you want and then of course you can change the aspiration right now it's naturally aspirated but you can put a twin turbo or a supercharger twin turboing this would definitely be cool and we might be doing that we'll see what else is available mostly just all the custom stuff that's for every single car you can put race intakes all the race equipment for the engine go ahead and upgrade all that we're going to make this thing fast because yesterday I did take it out stock and it did not uh, go that fast. Like it was pretty slow and the sound was not that great either out of the exhaust. So putting a race exhaust on it hopefully ups the sound and hopefully we get a nice sound from the Performante because it is a beautiful sounding car in real life. So let's go ahead. We'll put some uh, shocks on this thing. Suspension. We'll make this thing light. We're not going to put a roll cage in it. Don't really need a roll cage to be honest. But we'll go ahead and jump into the drivetrain. Put a clutch, transmission, all of that jazz. And we are going to be driving manual, so it's uh Yeah, that that's the thing. <laughs> we'll put uh, go ahead and uh put some nice wheels on it. Thicken these bad boys up. I do want the wheels to come out just a bit. There we go. I do like the stock rims on it as well, as long as I can change the color, which I believe I can. And then, yeah, you know what? We'll go ahead and we will twin turbo this thing. I think that's a good idea. Go back into the engine compartment and fully upgrade that. Let's go ahead, race twin turbo. Uh, I messed up there. A race intercooler. There we go. And the flywheel, I think, is already done. So there we go. I think this thing's going to be decked out. I didn't actually check out the stats before the car was upgraded. Let's go ahead and check them out now. So power, we have 1300 horsepower. So 1335 horsepower, 895 foot pounds of torque, weighs 2,500 pounds. Not bad. It's all wheel drive still. Those are the stats, 8.2, 8.9, 10, 10, and 9. And then 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds and top speed of 224.6 miles an hour so we'll take it to the highway and hopefully we can hit that speed but there you have it it's going to be a very fun car one that i would have a lot of fun in real life uh previous there we go we kind of have it so 630 horsepower all the way up to 1300 so more than double the horsepower has been put on it and it's fully maxed out 999 completely maxed out um but yeah pretty excited we're gonna go ahead and change the visual aspects to this car might check out a couple of designs as well but first we'll go find new tunes see if anybody has like a uh, a better tune than what we have which i'm sure they do 
This one, the speed drops quite a bit, but the horsepower is insane. 1,500 horsepower out of this Lamborghini. Probably has like a racing V12 or something like that in it. We have a couple 600 horsepowers, a couple 1,000s, 1,335, very similar to what we got. So a lot of them vary with the horsepower, but it's the actual tuning that might make the difference to these cars, like the gear ratios and all that. So again, I'm not too familiar with any of that. So we'll, we'll just stick with what we have uh, and see how it performs. But maybe later on in the future, if you guys have some tunes that you recommend, then leave them down in the comments below and I'll try them out and see how I like them. But let's go ahead, we'll jump into the visual aspects of this car and it already looks beautiful. I love the orange on it, love the flag on the bottom there, the colors of the flag and all the forged carbon, it looks very, very nice. But let's go ahead, we'll see all the manufacturer's colors, there are quite a bit. So I have some die cast models I mentioned in my last video and this is one of the colors right here that I have and then this is the other color that I have but I do want like a very light baby blue, that's a nice matte blue that's very nice let's go ahead and take a look at them all we got red yellow that's kind of like an orangey yellow um more of a yellow green blue it's a dark blue if not black then that's a matte black then silver more silver white and white the white looks very good on a Performante as well, but honestly the color that I want, and it's unfortunate that the flags are gone, so that's not gonna be uh that's not gonna be good, but I think I can change that. So give me two seconds here. We're gonna go ahead and go normal, put it to a baby blue. That's roughly roughly the color that I want right there. And we'll go ahead and see what the second paint job is so i can change the complete bottom of it and the mirrors so that's kind of cool not that color but it's cool that you can change like the colors the two separate sections and if i was to change this one i would definitely make it black if not carbon fiber but i feel like if i was to make it carbon fiber it wouldn't go along with the car because the rest of it's forge carbon so i don't really want to mess with that so we'll go ahead, we'll back out of that, and we might just have to go with just the standard manufacturer's color and pick one other than the light baby blue. Just because I do want those uh, the colors at the bottom for the flag. A yellow wouldn't look too, too bad. And then after this, we'll jump into designs. Hopefully someone made it. I don't really feel like taking the time to go into like the vinyls or decals and actually make a flag at the bottom. But I really like the white too, so I might actually go with the white. And there's not a huge difference between these two colors here. Literally can hardly notice it. I think in the crew too, um, I had a white one and it looked incredible. So the rims will definitely make black. Oh, it takes away everything, man. That's no good. That's honestly a pain. I don't know why they do that. If you guys have a way around that where sometimes if you have decals like from the manufacturer's color and then if you were to change like the, the color of the rims or the windows for example and it gets rid of them, ready? Watch, the flag will disappear. If you have a way around that, let me know down in the comments because that drives me nuts. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to back out of this, exit without saving, go find new designs and hopefully someone has exactly what I'm looking for right there pretty much. I do like this one as well. Go ahead and pick that one for now. If this is exactly what I'm looking for, thank you, you came in clutch. Let's take a quick look. I really like that color. I, I really like the baby blue on most cars, to be honest. Like a GTR, I really wanted a, a baby blue color. Uh, the Porsche GT3 RS, like almost any single color looks really good in baby blue. I'll take a look at this one in the Forza Vista really quickly. And that's very, very close to what I would like. I do want some tinted windows. I don't know why these guys didn't actually put tinted windows on it. But that definitely looks very nice. And of course, the flags at the bottom. I think the flag at the bottom is not perfect, obviously. I'm pretty sure that's a little bit different colors. Um, just like shades of the colors. So green, white, and red is right. But the shades look a little bit different. But that looks awesome. That's what we're going to end up sticking with. So let's go ahead. We'll jump into Forza Vista again here. And we will take it for a drive.
All right, here we go. Yeah, that's actually very, very close to the color that I wanted. So if you guys want this color, make sure to go support the guy that actually created it because I am very thankful for that. Now we have it exactly how we want it pretty much. Again, other than the windows, but the windows kind of look tinted. Maybe a little bit. They could be darker, but it's no big deal. Let's go ahead and rev this thing. You can definitely hear the turbos. And of course, we're spitting flames there. All right, let's take her for a drive. And yes, I will make my way over to the highway. So we'll actually make a GPS thing over to this roundabout there. We'll take it easy up until the highway. And then once we're on the highway, we'll see if we can get it up to the 224 miles an hour. If not more than that, that would be nice. Some cars actually go higher, like faster than their predicted top speeds that it says so i don't know if you guys have seen the interior on the performante but man this thing is ridiculously nice all the forge carbon and the alcantara inside i like the interior being red but um one thing i wish they really did was allowed you to actually change the interior just like the crew too you can literally change like the seats and all the colors and it's just you can do a lot more customization where Forza is a very, very basic. You can change a couple of the appearances on it, like the front bumper, depending on the car and the spoiler. And that's pretty much it. All right, so now we're on the highway. We'll actually launch this thing. Let's go ahead and get on the right side of the road. And we'll launch this thing and try and get up all the way to top speed. I think I'm going the right way. Let's double check. I am going the right way. That's the longest uh, stretch of road that there is in the game. So we should be able to get up there. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and see how fast we can get this. You can just hear those gears just switch so fast. We're going to try not to crash. Go a little bit slower into that corner. There we go. Now we're off. There's another Perfomonte we just passed. Let's go. And we're fully maxed out at 223, 224. We are hitting 225. Just on and off. 223, 24, and 25. So it is very fast. And it's it's redlining like crazy. You probably already blew the engine on this thing. We just hit a Porsche. But man, that thing is quick. It's quick because the gears are so fast. It's a very standard sounding car too in um, in Forza. They all pretty much sound the same to be honest, but nonetheless, it is definitely nice, especially with the twin turbo, it is good. Let's go ahead, we'll hit some pylons here. We'll work our way back in the interior mode, see if the sound's even better. And because we're going downhill, oh, I just crashed. If I didn't crash, because we're going downhill, we might even be able to hit 226. If I doubt it, I think we're, we're capped at 225. Oh, no, I saw 226. I saw it. Do some weaving. There you go. So there you have it. It's a, a very fun car. Like I said before, if you don't have it yet, you have like another five or six days to get it. And it's very, very easy. You just have to do some of the events. If you don't know which ones to do, then again, the video will be linked down below for the fastest way to get it. So you don't have to do all the events to get this thing. But nonetheless, make sure to get it because after the six days, you won't be able to get it. It will be extremely hard until they release it again. And this is not a car you want to miss out on. This is probably one of the most sought after cars in this entire game that's been released. So this and the Pista and the Pista is amazing too. So anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up. This is the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. I am going to match it up against other cars like the Pista, maybe the GT3, GT2 RS. Uh, pretty much just like a head-to-head -head with a circuit race, a uh, sprint race, like a point-to-point, -point, 
the top speed, the sound, everything like that. So make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe. But anyway, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.